Hey, Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings, citations to the hopefully elect, the tabernacle of David scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, keeping the faith and diligence of our Lord Yahweh Shai, occupying the truth and sincerity until all is fulfilled and we are redeemed. So it's the brother Azariah, back with another lesson through the spirit. You know, and I want to touch on this video right here from Alter Ego Sean. In the title, you can see spiritual warfare is at an all time high. And let me start it off with this scripture right here, Joel 2 and 28. And it reads, and it shall come to pass afterward <clears throat> that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. All right. So you have a phenomenon happening right now where people of this world seeing what's going on, they have a very uneasy spirit about the events taking place and to these people something seems off they know something ain't right you know but you have jake you know because the scriptures say that uh you know jake has his, has a zeal you know so of course you know jake they always talking about god you know jake you know jake favorite phrase now is like on on god you know what i'm saying like but uh it's not according to knowledge it's not according to was contained within the scriptures, right? So Jake is naturally inclined towards the Most High, but uh, this world, you know, turns Jake out. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, spiritual warfare is at an all-time high, and it's good to watch videos like this because it gives you what's going on in in the world from a person that is of this world's perspective. You know how they're viewing things. You know, because we view things through a different lens. We view the uh, happenings of this world, if you will, through a spiritual lens, through the lens of the Holy Scriptures. All right. We filter everything through thus saith the Lord. Right. But a person of this world, they have a more, um, you know, base, base uh, outlook on what's going on because ultimately they don't plug what's going on back to the scriptures now i will say that they have a vague idea you know also they hearing the prophets speak about these things you know what i'm saying but they have a vague idea of well, wait a minute you know didn't you know doesn't the bible talk about this you know people have that in the back of their mind but overall what people by and large are starting to realize is that this world is coming to an end you know the fashion of this world is passing away and the rudiments of it are all fading okay and this is why we push so heavy for our people for for the elect you know to come back to Yahweh Bashim Shah because when it's all said and done everything that you aspire for to have in this world it's all gonna pass away it's not it's, it's all gonna be vanity you know what I'm saying but what will stand what will benefit you is having a relationship with Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know, putting off this world <clears throat> and putting on the full armor of the Lord that you may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Because it's a lot of wickedness going on and people ain't seen nothing yet. You know, you think people are scared now, you think people are worried right now. You don't you don't know what fear and worry is yet. Alright, but the most high is gonna show these people what it is real soon. Alright? But everything is being lined up to come forth in its full measure. You know, but like I said, uh, the general consensus of things is that this world is ending. And that since 2020 to this point now, things haven't gotten better. They've only progressively gotten worse. So throughout these past four years, if things have gotten worse, then what's to come for potentially the next four years? Lord willing... We don't have another four years here. I mean, I don't believe that. But just speaking in those terms, if there was another four years, like, you know, whoever gets in 
the White House with this uh, presidency, this this next term, you think things are gonna you know go back to how it was pre twenty twenty, or are things gonna continue on this downward spiral? If you understand what's going on geopolitically, then there's no way that you can say with a straight face that America, that the affairs of, of, of the world are going to somehow be cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? That things are going to just die down and everybody's going to you know, ride off into the sunset comfortably. No. And furthermore, that's against the will of the Heavenly Father. So it ain't going to happen. All right. But you have, uh, you know, Jake. You know, the video, you know, he's, you know, this is pretty much what his channel was themed around, you know, just speaking on topics and how he feels about certain things going on within the world and where the world is going and how bad that the world has gotten, you know, over time. You know, which you, we all see these things, we all feel it, but once again, we view the world through a different lens. You see what I'm saying? Like, the Lord has endowed us with the Holy Spirit to understand where all these things are coming from. Whereas the average person of this world, they looking at the same things we looking at, but they're confounded. They're not understanding fully why things are the way they are. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and check out this video. You know, I just want to get some key points out of here. You know, grab some scriptures as well. And Lord willing, this is edifying. What's good with y'all, man? I'll tell you, go, Sean. Hope y'all doing well. Uh, spiritual warfare is at an all-time high right now. Just look at your interactions with people, bro. Like, it is so common. I come across somebody or I talk to somebody, and they just come across. It's so off. Like, it's offsetting the way they come across, right? And I'll be like, man, they're so rude, right? You'll think, man, they're just being so rude or they just got a problem. When in reality, bro, we're in a spiritual battle. You know, whenever people can't talk to each other, whenever people are so hostile towards each other, bro, it's something else, right? Now, this is what I mean when Jake can see the something ain't right, but they can't quite put their finger on it All right now. The scriptures say that in the last days, all right, that the love of many shall wax cold, right, because iniquity shall abound. Matter of fact, let's just get it. <clears throat> Go to the blue letter, all right. Let's get that scripture, Matthew 24 and 12. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So in these times today, like he was outlining in uh, the video, people have a very cold spirit to them. You know what I'm saying? You might speak to people. They don't speak back. People just got a annoyed look on their face. And he said correctly that we're in a spiritual warfare, which is 100% correct. Because you got to understand, um, the fact that this world is ending, things ain't what they used to be. People don't have access to all the... Um, amenities and, and you know comforts that they used to have they see that things are getting worse you see so the spirits in these people are uh, pissed off you know I just use that word you know what I'm saying the spirits within these people which are of the world are pissed off because their world is ending <laughs> you understand what I'm saying it's like um when when you've been riding high you know what I'm saying like for example if, if uh, you play any kind of sport in school, you know what I'm saying, like basketball, football, whatever, you might have a string of games where you go 5-0, and 0, you know what I'm saying, where, hey, you on your high horse, you know, you feel like you're on top of the world, can't nobody touch you, you know what I'm saying, like you just whooping everybody, right? But then the day finally comes where you take a L. You know, the day comes where you take a L and you feel like shit, you know what I'm saying? Especially going into that game thinking that you was going to repeat what you did the past five games to get another W, but you end up taking the L. All right? You're going to feel like shit that day. You see what I'm saying? The same thing's happening with the people of this world. They've been winning for so long that they thought things was always going to be this way. See, they always thought they was going to be able to 
live it up. They always thought they was going to be able to um, enjoy their wickedness. All right, but now the day has come where these people was taking L's left and right. You know what I'm saying? These people taking L's, and, and, and there's really no no bounce back from it because things just continue to get worse. All right, and this is the fashion of this world passing away, man. All right, this this is why the scriptures tell us to love, not the world. You know. Let's let's go ahead. Matter of fact, let's go to um let's stay in the same chapter. Let's go to Matthew. Let's get verse uh, thirty seven. Let's get that real quick. Right? Because also these people are like this because this is last day's flood behavior. Cause, Cause you know what I'm saying? What do y'all wish y'all say? Matthew twenty four and thirty six, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Verse thirty seven, but as the days of Noah were so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now what was happening in the days of Noah? For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Also what was going on when you read in Genesis, the earth was full of violence, okay? Iniquity had greatly abounded within the earth at that time, okay? And it was the same thing, the love of many waxed cold in those days, as well okay so it's the same scenario playing out again in these last days man the love of many is waxing cold because iniquity has abounded okay we are in those same very times man all right so these people are pissed off that they not able to enjoy their world anymore that the lord is bringing an end to their world let's continue we know that we're in crazy times right now. We know that 2024, bro, this year has been the craziest year, bro. <laughs> bro, like, my personal life, bro. Don't trade alone. Trade with me live using one simple strategy, and I'll help you get results. This has been the craziest year I've ever had, right? So... We know that we're in these crazy times where, you know, like then we got the election literally in a couple of days. People are so hostile. People don't talk to each other. People are lone, are lonely. You know, people don't want to hear anyone else's opinion if it's different from their own. Right. People don't talk about their feelings. This is all spiritual. This is all spiritual, man. Look at relationships, right? Men and women just don't get along it right right now. I don't I'm not gonna say anymore. I'm not gonna speak that into the future, right? Men and women just don't get along right now, right? Look at families. Families are being ripped apart, bro. Family, bro, the family is being ripped to shreds, right? Again. Why is this? Why are people in this time so divided? Why are they not unified? Well, let's get it. Let's go to Matthew chapter 10. Because <clears throat> look, all, all the things, all the talking points that he's making directly go back to biblical prophecy, showing you that the words of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, by faithful and true. I think that's verse 30, 34. Yeah, yeah. Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Now these are the direct words of Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Christ. Okay, he said, Think not I am come to send peace. So the Lord is not coming to unify all people. He's not coming to bring everybody together. He said, I came not to send peace, but a sword. Alright? So the Lord is coming to bring warfare on this earth heavenly warfare righteous indignation and he's going to deliver it to the wicked those that are his enemies okay two-thirds of his own people and the heathen nations the lord ain't coming to you know dap you up and hand out candy canes man the lord coming to chop some heads off all right verse 35 for i am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. So what is that? That's division. 
Okay, that's a divided household right there. So it's just like bro said in the video. Families are torn apart. Families are divided. People don't express their feelings no more. People don't uh, uh, interact like that. Biblical prophecy, verse 36. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. See that? He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Now, is this saying that you just put away your, your mother and, and uh, your father, that you just put away your children? No. But it's saying that ultimately the Most High is, is the one that, you know, gave you a, a family and things like that. All right. So when it comes to doing the will of the Lord, the Lord comes first, man, before your family. OK, because ultimately the Lord gave you. Your, your son or your daughter, you know what I'm saying? The Lord gave you a house. The Lord gave you, your, you know what I'm saying, mother and father. You know, and all these things that we have in this life, man. All right, so we are to praise and exalt Yahweh Bashem Shai above all these things, man. That's why it says, if you love father or mother more than me, you're not worthy of Yahweh Bashem Shai, man. Okay, because you're putting the creation over the creator. All right? You're supposed to exalt the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son above anything, man. Right, that's why in this truth we understand that, yeah, we got other things going on, but this truth comes first, man. All right, you can't put Yahweh Bashmiel Shot on the back burner and put, uh, uh, you know, family over that, you know, put the cares of this life over this, this, this ministry, man. All right, you have to have balance in everything, but the Lord comes first. Okay, so I'm not sure... You know, because I, you know, like I said, I've been subscribed to him for a little while now. Um, I've, I've, I've never heard him mention being a, a Israelite, so I'm not sure if he knows he's an Israelite or not. But you can clearly see that all the talking points he's made so far directly go back to biblical prophecy. Right now, he's saying what he's saying through the Spirit, and this is how these are things that the average person um, express. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, man, you know, the Lord is definitely pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. You know, we're we're definitely at the end of this world, man. Like you you know, the vibe, like the whole vibe just feel different. You know what I'm saying? Like ten years ago the vibe was completely different from what it is now. You know, even five years ago the vibe was completely different. Like before the pandemic, it was a completely different world. Now thing things are, you know, just just crazy out here. That ain't no coincidence. That's the will of, of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, man. All right, because the Lord is really manifesting the end of this place, and, and you know the spirits in these people are uh, you know lashing out, you know, because they understand their time is, is is short. All these different doctrine doctrines that are being put in people's head from social media about being single and living life up, and you know, uh, hot girl summer, right? That was a couple years ago, but still, y'all know what I'm talking about. And all the things he just mentioned, what those are doctrines, philosophies of this world. What do the scriptures say? Let's go to First John. First John chapter two. Let's go down. Yeah, First John chapter two and fifteen. It says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him." Verse 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. You see that? So this world is passing away, right? It's why the Lord tell us to love not the world. Don't love the things of the world, man, because these things are vanity. It's all going to pass away. But what you do for the Lord, that's going to stand forever. All right? That's going to follow you into the kingdom, man. All right? Because what do you really want? Do you want to have a great name in this world and eventually that's all going to be destroyed? Like, for example, right? Look at all the top rappers that have passed away within the last four years. Pop Smoke, um, the one that just died, uh, uh, rich homie Quan, you know what I'm saying? Uh, young, young Dolph, like, like all these guys, like Lil Dirk now locked up. Like, look, all these guys had their time, 
they had a 15 minutes of fame, if you will. But where they at now? All right, they either dead or they or they locked up. Okay, so your famous status on this side is not gonna translate to the kingdom, man. In listen, in the kingdom of heaven, ain't nobody gonna be talking about no no little Dirk, man. Ain't nobody gonna be talking about no Michael Jordan or or, or, or you know uh, LeBron James or Beyonce in the kingdom of heaven. That's gonna be something that you, you know. It's gonna be like, what is that? <laughs> you know, like the glory of this life is gonna end here, man. That's the whole thing about it. The glory of this world is going to end here. It's not It's not going to translate over. But guess what it is going to translate over? The works that you've put forth for the Lord. All right? That's, you know, those are the good things that are going to follow you into the next phase or uh, the, the uh, next eon that is to come. That's what's going to follow you, man. But all the wicked, listen, you know, that's, that's going to be a shame on you in the kingdom. You see? All the wickedness that, you know what I'm saying, that these guys had to do to, you know, just to get a deal, to be famous, to be out there, you know what I'm saying, had to bend over, touch their toes, or, you know, the, the females had to blow ride and do the same thing, be on the casting couch and all this. Like, all that's going to be a shame that you did these things to attain and gain this world. That's why the scriptures say, what shall the profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? Why? Because ultimately it's vanity at the end of the day. It's not going to profit you nothing, man. And again, when you give your soul over to the devil, like like when you sign a contract with Esau, once you're not profitable to him no more, he going to come and, and, and he going to blow your candle out. Okay? He's going to collect back on his investment. Because once you're, you know what I'm saying, like once once you ain't popping no more, once you ain't bringing in no revenue, you ain't booking no shows like that, he's going to be like, man, to hell with this nigga. You know, I use you now. I'm done with you now. I got to bring back my, you know, get get all my capital back. And I'm going to keep your masters too. And your family ain't, ain't going to get shit. That's how the devil do. So would you rather work for a temporary moment of, of fame and glory in this world? Temporary riches? Or, or, or would you rather have life everlasting in Yahweh Bashim Shai in the kingdom of heaven? All right, brothers of the mind said, listen, man, we, we already done took our minds out this place. You know, we're looking forward. If you still, bent, you know, bent up on this world and worried about what's going on here, then your ass is looking back. It ain't no hope for you. All right. We see this place is done. We listen, we, we, we bring it out every single day. What's going on in, in America, what's going on overseas and, and geopolitically, the dollar, everything here is temporal. It was not meant to last. All right, the scriptures tell you that the triumphing of the wicked is short. All right, so even Esau, he thought he was gonna have his everlasting rulership, but what's happening now? The Most High is breaking him down, and there ain't a damn thing that he can do about it. So how much more the average Babylonian, the average uh, wicked person that dwells in this world, man? They was born in vain. They ain't serve no purpose but to be born into this world to to commit wickedness. You know, to blaspheme the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son and to be destroyed at the end of it. All right? So, yeah, man, look. The 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 uh, hope of this world is all going to come to nothing. You see, that's why we trust in Yahweh Bashmi Oshai because we see where all this is going. All right? All these different things are subconsciously going in our mind. Feminism. Red pill. Right? Subconsciously just separating us as a people right this is all spiritual the times we're in man things are getting crazier and crazier and crazier i'm telling y'all bro after this election <laughs> bro after this election if trump doesn't win his supporters gonna go crazy if kamala doesn't win her supporters are going to go brought. And that's the thing, you know, either way it go, America cook. Either way it go, this place ain't going to bounce back. You know, because you have people on both sides. You got the right wing and you got the left wing. Well, check out what you're saying. You're saying, oh, I'm I'm with the right. I'm conservative, right? Well, you know, I'm with the left. I'm more liberal. I'm more down with the you know, satanic doctrine. All, all these people are satanic, man. You know, the right and the left. 
but we consider the right wing and the left wing, they both wings. But what is it attached to? All right, because you don't you don't have just one wing just flapping and you know you ain't got no body attached. Both these wings are attached to one hateful bird. All right. So both of these parties are a part of the same global system that's set up to oppress you. So it don't matter whether it's Trump or whether it's Kamala that get up in there. It ain't going to be good because the same NWO agenda is going to be rolled out on you either way. No matter who they put in there, the 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 um, MOTB is still going to come. World War Three is still going to happen. Okay. A famine is still gonna happen. A blackout is still gonna occur. They're 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 gonna put more draconian laws and, and decrees on you. It don't matter who get up in there. It, it's still gonna be all bad. But people are pushing this doctrine of go vote, go and cast your vote because we need all that we can get. Cause cause we can't have Trump in there on the other side. Oh no, we can't have Kamala up in there. But what what does the scripture say? Let's go to Hebrews. Let's go to Hebrews 13 and 9. Hebrews 13. I'm going to start at 8. Hebrews 13 and 8. Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. Verse 9. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats which have not profited them, that have occupied therein. You see that? So we're not supposed to, you know, be carried about with these diverse and strange doctrines, talking about go vote. You know, Christianity, Islam, you know, do as thou wilt, Satanism, hot girl summer. All right? I want to be a bad bitch. I want to be a real nigga. All right? These are the diverse and strange doctrines that pertain to this world that are outside of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That have not profited these people at all, man. It's only destroyed them, but they can't see that because they themselves are destroyed. Okay? But it says, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace. Yeah, we're supposed to have our hearts established and rooted in the laws, statutes, and commandments, in the faith and knowledge, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's what our hearts are supposed to be established and rooted in. Not with meats, these other philosophies, the, these other false doctrines, okay? Jesus Christ, you know, uh, you know, loves everybody. <laughs> you know, God doesn't hate, you know? America is uh, never going to fall. See, you see, these are the things that the people of this world are pertain to you know what i'm saying and this is why we always say it's truly a blessing that the lord woke you up all right for you sincere akim and aqua out there to subscribe to the to the true doctrine it's, it's really a blessing that the lord woke us up when he did because imagine still being in this world and being confounded being confused you know having no direction having no faith in anything you just out here you 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 out here just bugged out hoping praying to a false god that somehow your situation can improve which if you knew what was good for you that you would be praying against this place all right this is why the scriptures say that oppression maketh a wise man mad because see we understand our condition we understand that being here is really some bullshit you know we understand that we're supposed to have better and that's what we striving for right we so upset you know, in uh, the spirit being in this place because we understand that, yo, we, you know, we're the gods of the earth, but we've been relegated to mere mortals, all right? This is why the importance of being established in grace is at the forefront, man. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh being at the forefront is the core of this walk, walking in faith, okay? Because when we was in the world, we thought we was doing something. When, when we was in the world, we thought that we was, you know, on to bigger and better things. But waking up to this truth, it's like, yo, you know, what the hell was I doing? You know, we were caught up in these meats. All right. <laughs> in the world, I was DJing. I was, you know, making beats and stuff like that. I, you know, I thought, you know, I was going to be on my way to make it big time. You know, either that or playing ball. But 
the Lord got me here. And then, you know, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. You see, because ultimately those things would have been cool to do for a season, but in the in, 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 in the long run, you would have been disappointed. Okay? You would have been perplexed when these days came. Alright? So hey, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man, you know, these these precepts are beautiful to illustrate the point. All right, and this is what Jake need to tap into on these last days, man, because, you know, being out here in this world, it ain't it. It ain't it. The times we're in, spiritual warfare is at an all-time high. People need to be tapped in with God. People need to get right with God, I'm telling y'all, right? Then you look at time, right? I talk about all the time in my videos, how time just seems to be sped up. We're at the end of October, bro. Today's the tour. When y'all see this <laughs> again, and listen, man, like I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure if Jake knew that, you know, every point he's making went back to precepts, <laughs> that you know his eyes would be wide, man. You know, shorten the days. You know what I'm saying? And you know, time, time is uh definitely sped up. For the elect's sake. You know, time definitely is sped up, man. <clears throat> I'm typing no flesh save. Spot. Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened. All right. So the, so the Lord is definitely shortening the days, man. Okay. Like bro just said in the video. We're at the end of October already, and October just started. You know what I'm saying? This this whole year really flew by. All right, showing you, and as a matter of fact, I remember, um, you know, Esau putting articles out saying that the um, the Earth is spinning faster, which it is, man. Like a day don't even feel like a day no more. It's like damn, like by the time you look up, it's 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 nine o'clock. You're like damn, I ain't even do nothing today. You know what I'm saying? So time is definitely being shortened, man. Like the days are definitely being sped up. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved before the elect's sake. All right, everything goes back to the elect. All right, the chosen among the chosen. All right, the, the elect nation is Israel, but even amongst the elect nation, you have a remnant elect. Okay, the elect, the Israel of the Most High, because two thirds of our of our people, they you know they're going to be cut off because they don't believe, and they're wicked. They refuse to repent. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right. So once again, man, you know, bro is, you know, doing a lesson without even knowing that he's doing a lesson. <laughs> Let's continue. It's big. It'll be the 30th. Right. Time is weird, bro. Time just where did this year go? Right. So time flying by people. People are so disconnected. Right. <laughs> can't even talk to each other then we have this election like bro all these different things happening at once right we have wars overseas right we have women and children being killed we have women being great daily overseas bro here in america too but this stuff is happening while people are at war these spiritual times we are in bro the spiritual warfare going on right now is crazy. And the most alarming thing, bro, the most alarming thing is that people, there are some people that just act like we not living in times like this. I don't know how people just go about their day-to-day -day life. Like we not in the craziest times ever. <laughs> this is truly the craziest times ever. And you know why people walk around like that? Because they don't want to deal with reality. They don't want to deal with the truth. All right. Even though. And these people. They they hear the words of the prophets. Okay. They're they're well aware of, of, of what it is. But see. They they figure more or less. If I can uh, ignore. You know. What's, what's being said. Or you know. Um, if I can just. You know. Put myself in a little bubble. To, I, don't, I don't have to deal with the problems of this world. You know, whether you live way out in the country or you, you know, disconnect 
from social media. That's not going to stop prophecy from being fulfilled. All right. All you're doing is, is living in, in ignorance until that day comes and takes you suddenly, man. All right. That's why, uh, you know, Yahweh Shah said, hey, yo, I come as a thief in the night. OK, now the Lord is not going to come as a thief in the night for those that are watching. It's going to be for those that are not watching. It's going to be for those that are not being prudent, not being vigilant. OK, that day is going to overtake them as a thief in the night. OK, even down to this election and what all the all what they talk about, you know, cyber attacks and blackouts and civil unrest and martial law, all these things. Like, listen, there are certain people out here that are not aware of these talking points. There are certain people out here that have no idea how bad the things are about to get. And guess what? When they finally do happen, it's going to catch them off guard. They're not going to be ready. They're going to be destroyed in these things that are, that are going to come upon the earth, man. So, that, you know, this is why it's imperative that we watch, okay? That's why we're spiritual watchmen, you see? And, and you know, we're standing upon that that a high tower. And, you know, we looking out into the world and anything that we see that directly plugs back into biblical prophecy, we're going to, we, you know, we're going to sound the alarm. We're going to say something. Okay? We're not going to sit around, twiddle our thumbs, and keep our mouth shut. Because ultimately, it's the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Oshah that wants these things to come out. All right? Because the Lord said, give them warning from me. All right? Whether they hear or, or whether they forbear. So whether you take heed to it or whether you put it off, like, eh, whatever. I hear what you're saying, but I don't see it happening. So therefore... You ain't, you know, you ain't, you ain't real. You know, whatever the case is. People have that mindset, hey, that's, that's on you. But you can't say that you wasn't warned. You can't say that you wasn't thoroughly warned. Right, that's going to be the thing about it, man. Like, you can't say that you ain't hear this. Everybody done heard at this point. Right? And ultimately, you know, these, these people are, are continuing on because they're wicked as hell. All right? Let's go to John 3, man. You know? The, you know, the, these people hate reproof. They, they don't want to hear the truth, man, because ultimately um, they enjoy their life in this world. Right? John 3. John 3 and 20. Matter of fact, John 3 and 19. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. Yeah, and the deeds of these people are evil. That's why... When they hear certain reports, they shy away from it, right? They don't want to deal with these, uh, you know, prophecies. They don't want to deal with the talking points because they understand that it's a condemnation unto them in, in, in their world. So they'd rather not deal with it. Verse 20, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. And this, you know, this right here... <clears throat> This is the result of living in a wicked society, living in a society that promotes wickedness and shuns righteousness, right? It ain't it ain't cool to <clears throat> so like let me drink some water. <clears throat> you know, it ain't cool <clears throat> uh to talk about anything righteous. You know, people look down on you when they tell you that you know, who are you to judge? You know, you can't, you know, only God can judge me, which that's, that's some Tupac shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Only God can judge me. Well, hey, you know, you are right in a sense because the Most High is going to judge your ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you don't repent. But at the end of the day, you know, hey, men love darkness rather than light. Okay, so the light is the truth that's coming forth in this earth, man. Yahweh Shah said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So if you can't accept the truth, you can't accept Yahweh Shah, man. All right? And it's as simple as that. If somebody tell you, hey, uh, you know, there's 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 uh, clouds in uh, the sky, and uh, you know the person say, no, I don't see no clouds up there. You're lying. Well, guess what? You can't accept Yahweh Shah because you can't accept the fact that there's clouds in the sky. You know, even something as minute and as simple as that, man, which shows you that you're a damn reprobate. Okay. They hey, men love darkness rather than light. Their deeds were evil. Right? For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light lest his deeds should be reproved. And ultimately these represent the two thirds and the multitudes of the of 
the nations upon this earth which are, which are going to be destined for destruction you see verse 21 but he that doeth truth cometh to the light that is that his deeds may be made manifest they that are wrought in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai okay which was really the elect <clears throat> okay so all things are coming forth man all right, and it's a beautiful thing that we have the scriptures to filter these things through and that we've been given the understanding through the Rakakadash, the Holy Spirit, to be able to break these things down in real time. Okay? And people don't even talk about it. You know? Please enjoy the first three minutes of my new movie, Am I Racist? The number one documentary of the day. Yo, Esau through. <laughs> Esau through, man. Do y'all see this? Am I racist? Esau finished, man. You know what I'm saying? You really got, and I, you know, and I'm pretty sure this is a movie. This is off topic, but I just want to touch on this real quick. <laughs> this is how you know that the, you know, the so-called white man is finished, man. All right, because these devils are, are, are being exposed on so many fronts. Now they have to deal with with uh, the issue of racism, okay? Now you have to confront this head on because this is the end of the Edomites world, but you know, I, I, I don't wanna go too deep into that, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, it's just something that's popped up. <laughs> spiritual, spiritual warfare, man. And, and let me explain the spiritual warfare aspect to y'all, right? A lot of things are feelings. A lot of things you can't really put words onto, right? A lot of things, right? Different feelings that would just come out of nowhere. Like, bro, you'll be doing the most... Bro, you could be playing basketball, right? And then all of a sudden, a random feeling just comes upon you. And you're like, where did that come from? That's spiritual, right? That's spiritual. Think about it, bro. You could be with your family having the best time ever. And then you just get depressed out of nowhere. Spiritual warfare. The devil throwing stuff at you, just throwing random and planting random thoughts in your head, right? And then we, we and then we get on our phones, right? And we open these screens, and it's a completely different avenue for the devil to get into our mind. Let me give you all an example. Say you're in a relationship, right? You could be with the most loyal girl ever. You get on TikTok and then hear the most treacherous story ever about how a guy's girl cheated on her subconsciously that has subconsciously the thought of your girl cheating on you was just implanted in your mind spiritual warfare bro i'm telling y'all man <laughs> well on that note who you know who's really loyal out here man listen we live in america babylon the great you see it ain't nothing but hoes out here now if you find a, a good virtuous woman that you know has some decency to it, and that's a blessing from the most high. But by and large, bro, these these women out here are complete trash. Okay. If your woman got social media, then she has access to other men. You see? She has access to talk and flirt and deal with other men from social media. Alright, so the potential for your woman to step out and get some other ride is always there, all right? Now, if she ain't got no social media, if she ain't into that, then that's extremely rare. I mean, I I haven't come across a female that don't have no social media, especially in, in this time. You know, it, it's, it's, it's just not gonna happen, <laughs> you know, but let's continue. <laughs> Bro, y'all gotta be tapped in with God. Y'all gotta be fully aware of where these things are coming from. You got to be fully aware of what other people are going through as well. Everyone is dealing with this. Everyone. Everyone is going through this. You know? Spiritual warfare, man. I've seen it happen in my family this year. This whole year, bro, it's been a struggle with my family. You know, keeping my family together, right? It, it ain't spiritual warfare, bro. That's all it is, man. You know, it's a, like, bro... How do you explain to people who, like, let's look at these families, right? Let's look at the divorce rate and how many people are just being separated. How do you explain 
Two people that know that they love each other. Two people that... Bro, a, bl- a, bu- a bug just flew on me in the most crazy way, right? But how do you explain loving someone, right? More than anything, right? And And you know this, right? But you still can't figure out a way to make different things work. And... It's like problems just come out of nowhere that you never thought would be problems. This is all connected to something. And it's our spirituality, right? Everyone is so vulnerable right now. Nah, it's all connected to people operating outside of the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. That's really what it boils down to, okay? Because if everybody, especially Jake... We just, you know, apply the law, statutes, and commandments and faith to everything that they do. Things will go a lot smoother. But see, when you want to do what you want to do, you know, or you think that your way is the best way, or no, nah, you know, I want to do this and, and, you know, F you. And this, you know, of course you're going to have problems. You see? Because cause you're not truly operating in uh you know true true love man <clears throat> all right which the people of this world they don't even know what love is you know they'll 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 throw that word around you know yeah i, I love you you know this and that but you really you don't even know what love is okay you don't even know how to show love that's the crazy part about it but you got people that's, that are so-called in love now nah, you 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 know the people of this world really just tolerate each other man <laughs> okay because when worse come to worse and you're gonna see it happen out here like the scriptures tell you You know what I'm saying? The scriptures tell you that friends shall fight against one another. You know what I'm saying? That, uh, you know, households are going to be divided. But when worse come to worse, you're going to see how much true love is is, is really out here, man. All right? You ain't going to see no love when all hell breaks loose. All right? It's going to be a dog-eat-dog world. All right? I got to eat. I need this. You got it. Give it to me. Or I'm going to put your ass down. All right? That's going to be... What type of time people going to be on out here? You see? So you already seen the seeds of division being sown within the ranks of these Babylonians. And, you know, it's, it's only going to get worse, man. You know, but I'm going to go ahead and close out. I think the point has been made. Uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying through the Rakai Kadash. Call her law. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Bashem Rakai Kadash. And until next time, Lord willing, come Yahshua Allah and a Bible ball. Shalom.